Come on, give your God some praises in this place. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. Let's take it back. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Come on, put those hands together. Put those hands together. Put those hands together. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. How many excited to be in the house of the Lord on today? Amen. For God is good and his mercy. Amen. Endure forever. I'm so excited for what God is doing in this place. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for the praise dancers on today. Amen. 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 Just thank God. Thank God for what he is doing. Amen. How he's blessing us. All the gifts in this house. Amen. There are some gifted people in this house. Amen. New direction. This is the gifted place. Amen. Amen. And gifted folk recognize gifted folk. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So grateful and so thankful. Amen. We want to thank our first time guests for joining us on today. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you. 
Thank you for that. Amen. Because we're so excited for our guests because there's churches all around Houston. Amen. They could have been anywhere, but they chose to worship here in New Direction. For that, we're just grateful and thankful and also thanking each and every one of you. Amen. For being here on today. Amen. We're thankful for you being here on today. Amen. So excited. I'm so excited for what God has for us on today. Amen. I've been in the I've been in the gospel uh, pretty much all year, going through the life of Jesus, the things that Jesus has been doing. Amen. Haven't got, a, got something to put on the screen yet. Amen. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue this flow. Amen. Through the life of Jesus up until Easter, up until Easter Sunday, we're going to deal with the life, uh, the, the life of Jesus. Amen. So this, this, this sermon series, amen, as I put a name on it, is going to be called Jaywalking. Jaywalking, jaywalking, Jesus walking, jaywalking. For those of you who didn't get it, amen, jaywalking, amen. We're going to be dealing, we're going to stay in the, in the vein of Jesus and the life of Jesus. And what I've been doing, what I've been doing, actually, I uh, preached and I started off uh, this month talking about uh, the storm, talking about the storm, conversation with the storm. And I dealt with that, and I immediately, actually, I skipped over a story on last week because they crossed over to the other side, and they crossed over with the, with, with the demons. Amen. One text said it was one man possessed with a demon. Uh, another text said it was two men possessed with a demon. But how many of you know it doesn't matter whether it was one or two? Amen. There were some demons. Amen. And the Bible said that they all, and they went inside the pigs. Amen. Then they went back to the other side, and it's the woman woman with an issue of blood for for 12 years, 12 years, 12 years, 12 years with an issue, 12 years with, with circumstances, 12 ye years with things going on. And oftentimes we, we tripping when something's not going right for 12 hours. And this woman had an issue for 12 long years, 12 long years. And on today, we're going to be, we're just moving a lot further. We're going to be in the book of Luke, a chapter, a chapter, because that was an interruption. Amen. I, I, I touched on it on last week uh, we, when we talked about uh, Jairus. Jairus, the, the Bible said that, that he approached Jesus. He approached Jesus because they said that his, his daughter was dying. She was sick. She was dying. She was sick, and she was dying. She was sick, and she was dying. And the Bible says that in the midst of Jesus going to Jairus' house, the ruler of the synagogue, in the midst of going to the house, there was an interruption, which we dealt with on last week, this woman that had an issue. And what's so awesome about it, she didn't wait on Jesus to move. The Bible said that she walked behind him and said, if I can only just touch the hem of his garment. Is there anybody in this place say, I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined to get out of this mess. I'm determined to get out of this situation. I'm determined. I'm fighting for my family. I'm fighting for my children. I'm fighting for my, I'm fighting for my community. I'm fighting for my country. Is there any fighters in this place to say 2020, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Why? Because I got vision. I got vision. I got vision. You can't see my vision, but I got vision. And because I got vision, I'm going to operate on the vision that God has given to me. Am I talking to somebody in this place on today? Say, I'm not waiting on the system to help me out. I'm not waiting on welfare. I'm not waiting on WIC. I'm going to get this thing by myself. Because this is the year, this is the year you got to do something. You got to do something. This season of your life is more than just praying. Praying. This season you got to pray and move. You got to pray and move and and the woman with the issue of blood, the Bible says she didn't just wondering ahead about it. The Bible says she did something about it. 
The Bible says, she said, if I can only touch. And she pressed through crowds. She pressed through crowds because Jesus wasn't even coming through to see about her. But she pressed through. Is there any pressure folks in this place to say, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Is there more pressers in this place than that? God is looking for some pressers, some pressers. And here it is why she pressed and why she touched the hem of his garment. The Bible said that she was made whole. She was made whole. Instantly it happened. Instantly she was made whole. The blood dried up. The blood stopped flowing. For 12 years she had flow. The Bible said the flow stopped as soon as she touched him. And here it is what brings us to the text on today because she was the one and I, she was the interruption. She was the interruption because Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house to see about his daughter that was dying. And on today we're going to talk about Jairus. We're going to talk about Jairus because here it is. What do you do when you're asking God to do something? You asking him to do something, but I, I, I mean, I'm not selfish or nothing, but I mean, some sometimes God, God, I, I, God, I want you to see about me too, God. I, I pray too. I'm, I'm on my knees too. I'm in church too. God, would you see about me? Would you see? About me. Is there any real folks in this place? Yeah. <laughs> See, this sermon is not for holy than thou folk. This is for real folk. This is for folks that struggle with their faith and say, sometimes sometime I wonder in my mind, like, hey, do you hear me, God? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to some. I'm talking to some Thomases in this place. Oh, I got that Thomas spirit. Sometimes, sometimes I doubt. I, I believe sometimes, but I doubt sometimes. You, is there any roller coaster Christians? I, I, I had a good week last week, and I was on top, but now I'm. I'm is that some real people in this place? Some real people in this place. Jairus like, man, I'm the one called you. What, 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 are, you, what are you stopping for? I, I call. The text. The text. We're going to dig into the text. The text started at the 49th chapter. 49th chapter. If you don't have your Bible, just look on the screen. Amen. And just look and get into this word with us. Here it is. Here it is. And if you have your Bible, I want you to look at this verse before because we're going to start in, in, in 48. But I want you to look at, I mean, we just start in 49, but I want you to look at 48. 48, Jesus, when the woman was healed with the issue of blood, Jesus talked to her. And he said, and Jesus said to her, daughter, somebody say daughter. Daughter, daughter be of good cheer. Yes. Your faith has made you well. Yes. Go in peace. Go in peace. And then verse 9, verse 9, Jesus responds to her as daughter. Daughter. In 38, he talked to her and said, daughter, your faith has made your whole. But here in 49, it says, while he was still speaking. Who was he speaking to? He was speaking to the woman. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house and said to him, here we go again, your one daughter has been made whole. A woman with an issue for 12 years has been made whole. And here's a little girl that's 12 years old.
So not only was it one issue, but now Jesus stepped from one issue. And you call yourself a Christian, but you're running from problems. Huh? Is there any problem fixers in this place? To say in this season of my life, I'm not running from no problem. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to step up to it. I'm going to put my big boy, big girl shoes on, and I'm going to face my situation. Yeah, I, I know that's not a hoop, that's, that's not a praise word because we want things, we want God to just fix it real easy. We, we want everything to be easy. I want to be a daughter, I want to be a son of God, but I don't want to go through nothing. Somebody lied to me and told me when I become Christian, everything's going to be all right. Oh, the devil is a liar. I don't care if he was in the pulpit, he lied to you. The devil is a Hey, 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 they devils in poor pits too, eh? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Your daughter is dead. Jesus is talking to this woman that's been healed, and now Jairus got to hear. He just seen a blessing, and now he got to get some bad news. Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher do not I got it. let me read you this text I, 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 do not trouble the teacher but when Jesus heard it he answered him and said do not he looked at Jairus and said do not be a, afraid only believe she will be made well she just she, he just heard those words from what Jesus said to the woman with the issue of blood. And he repeat the same verbiage. And he said, she will be made well. When he came into the house, Jesus permitted no one to go into it, into it except Peter, James, and John, and the father and the mother of the girl. <laughs> Now all weep mourn for her. But he said, do not weep. She is not dead. She's sleeping. I know what it looks. Um, she's <laughs> <laughs> and they ridiculed him, knowing that she was dead. <laughs> they knew it. They knew it. They, they knew it. I, I knew it. I, Stop it, stop it, stop it. But he put them all out. Get out of here. Took her by the hands and called, saying, little girl, arise. <laughs> little girl, Arise, then her spirit returned. So obviously the spirit did leave. But it, re it returned, it returned, it returned, it returned. And she rose up immediately and he commanded that she be given something to eat. And her parents were astonished. But he charged them to tell no one what had happened. She, he charged them to tell nobody. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't. I, I want to use for a subject topic today. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. Father God, we bless you right now, God. We ask right now, God, hide me behind your cross. Speak to me and through me right now, God. God, that you will elevate right now, God, that you will initiate right now, God, the spirit inside of us to be able to move right now, God, in spite of what we're dealing with, God, that we will be movers. 
God, thank you right now, God. God, that the place that we are right now, God, is just a rent house. God, that you're about to give us something permanent, God. But, but, but we thank you, God, for the rent house experience. Oh, God, we, we, oh, God, we didn't paint the pictures, God. We didn't put anything on the wall, God. We, because we know you was coming, God. We thank you. We thank you for showing up right now, God. We bless you, God, and we thank you right now, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that you let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. And let the church say amen. 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 You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. I have an emergency. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. I have an emergency. That was a song back, uh, 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 it, it, it said, can someone please call 911? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Minister, all right, all right, all right. Didn't expect that, but all right. All right. Here, here, here it is, here it is. Oftentimes in life, we always having an emergency. God, I want you to fix it right now. God, I don't want to wait. I want it done right now. I want the house right now. I want the job right now. I want my children to be good right now. I want everything to flow smooth right now. God, I don't want to go through it. God, I just want you to fix my situation right now. God, I don't want to deal with the pain. Just fix it right now. See, and what we have to understand, see, each and every one of us, what's going on in our life, if we may, let the truth be told, what's going on in our life is more important than what's going on in somebody else's life. I don't care what you say. I don't care. Oh, you know, I, I put myself to the side and pray for somebody else. Yeah, we're prayer warriors and we do all that. But when something, when something's not right in the house, it's hard to focus on anything else. Am I right about it? It's hard to focus. Even with my saved self, it's hard to focus on something when something is messed up in my house. That's why the Bible said for the preacher, it said your house has to be in order in order to take care of the God's house. Because it's difficult to work on something else when something is messed up in the. Yeah. Huh. That's why relationships are jacked up. Because you always blame the other person because you've been in 50 million relationships and everybody else got the problem. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, have you checked your house? Yeah. Have, you, have, you, have you checked? Your house talking about all oh, men are dogs. No, they not. Are you checking your house? Because maybe your house is the dog house. We are all suffering and dealing with emergencies. That's why, that's why they make it very clear. They say, man, if you got a fever, don't call 911. I'm going to give you another number because 911 is only for emergency. Is there anybody know what I'm talking about? I mean, I had some belly pains before, and I'm like, baby, call not. Now we just got to go to the doctor. No, I don't need you to call him. And you know how we love our children, boy. Our children get a fever over 100. To you, it's an emergency. To you, it's important. To you, it's the number one thing. Come and be real about it, God. I want you to take care of me. I heard this saying. People always say, man, the world on the revolve around you. But the truth of the matter is, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Because everywhere I go, because, see, me and Reverend Dow, see, right now, we're close to each other. So the world is revolving around us. Me and him, because of our position. But he have a house, and I have a house. And the world, when we separate, the world is revolving around him differently than it's revolving around me. 
So to each and every one of us, the world does revolve around. It, it do, it do, it do. It do, but don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Here it is. What I got going on, I, this is the most important thing. But God said, no, it is not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're crying and pleading. And you want God to fix it right now. But see, what you have to understand, see, God know more about you than you know about you. God know more about what you need than you know what you need. See, if you had it your way, you would never have pain. You wouldn't even know what pain feel like. And if you don't know what pain feels like, how can you help anybody? How can you help somebody sick if you've never been sick? How can you tell somebody how good God is? How can you call him a provider when you always had money? How, how dare you call him a lawyer if you've never been in trouble? How can you call a, him a healer if you've never been sick? Uh, uh, uh. Here it is. I don't know what he is to you, but I hope. I know what he is to me because I've been through some stuff. Huh? I've been through some stuff, and here I am, the thing that I've been through. Now I'm in a position where I can actually help somebody else get out of that position because I was once there before. Come on, come on, come on. I can't help nobody with no, nothing I've never been through. Huh. I'm not an expert. You can't help nobody just from reading a book. Talking about, talking about I want to be a business coach. Go to a class, get a certificate one for one hour, never own the business, and now you're a business coach. A life coach, one hour certificate. Come on. How can I be a life coach and but life makes you a look at somebody and say, I have an emergency. I I have an emergency. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. Put my first point up. First point is delay. Delay. Why, God, if you would have showed up last year, this would never happen. If you would have showed up last week, this would never happen. But now you showed up and it's too late. If you would have never stopped, okay, she touched you, but it doesn't matter. She touched you and she was healed. You shouldn't have a conversation. Let's go, God. Come on. Come on. Can you imagine Jairus? Woman stopped him. He know his daughter is sick, about to die, and he's stopping. I mean, I can imagine. He like. She's been healed. He can't even rejoice with her because he's worried about his own house. Ah, yeah. oh, sometimes this is us. Only thing we can focus on is what's going on in our world. <laughs> Look at somebody say, you got to shift your mind, shift. Your mind, shift. Your mind. Somebody say, shift. Yeah. That something in your mind got to shift. That something in your heart got to shift. You got to have a shift in your But that was a delay. That was a delay. That was a delay. Don't stop for her. I have an emergency. I have a problem. Houston, I have a problem. I need you to see about me, God. And you can imagine, see, this one immaturity come in. I, I, I have to say this because one thing we do, if you realize you're immature in your life, you got to work on that. You got to work on that. Say, you know what? I'm not going to be crying over everything. I'm not going to be crying over spoiled milk. It's bad, and I got to move on. I, 
I got to move on. And what we should, we should learn a lesson in that. Stop complaining about the milk because it was full because you left it on the table. Remember, next time I won't do the same thing again because if I know if I leave the milk on the table overnight, it's going to go bad. So I can't do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Maturity. God said he's trying to mature you in this season. And when you made a mistake, you can't keep doing it over and over again. You was in a crazy relationship five years ago, and here you are 2020. Last year, you wasted your income tax talking about how I, what I should have did because here it is in August. Now your tires is, is flat and your, 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 your car done messed up. And now you need a new engine in your car. And you're like, the devil is showing up busy. And God remind you that I gave you $10,000 doing income tax tax and you was balling like Oprah. Baby Oprah, you want you want to do what you see them doing on TV? Huh? They got a wedding, and oh, when Beyonce and Jay Z got married, see they on their wedding. See they they had they had ten people, and everybody had gold necklaces. And Beyonce can have it, I can have it. I, we're not doing Cuban zirconia, baby. We we go, we got. You knew you should have did the right thing, but you're the one messed up, and now you're trying to blame. I mean, I can imagine God. If God, if God was a was was a musician, you know, R and B musician, I mean, I can imagine him saying, "Oh, it ain't my fault." <laughs> Because it's easier to point responsibility at God and you not take responsibility for it yourself. But here it is. There's a season coming up where we're no longer bathed in Christ. That we're growing up and we're becoming mature and take responsibility for the mistakes we made. And say, God, I'm not going to blame you for this one. This one is on me. Now I know better. I got to do better. Is there any folks in this place that say, I got to do something different this year? I'm not going to wait till next month. I'm not going to wait till next year. I'm going to do it different right now. Is there any mind changers in this place? Give God some praise and say, yeah. See, oftentimes the delay is not because of God, it's because of you delaying your own blessing. God told you to let me have those kids and you keep putting your hand on them. And God said, I'm trying to get you somewhere, but you're trying to do my job. Acting like you, God. Oh, God won't handle it. I'm going to take care of it because this is my baby. I don't want nothing to happen to my baby. God, I'm up. God, play, protect them, protect them. But you got your hand all in it. And every time God put his hand in it, you slapping God's hand. I got her. And I ain't talking about giving them a high five either. I'm talking about you want to give God a spanking. Don't do that. Oh, but when hell break less in your life, oh, you're screaming, God, I need you. See, oftentimes that's why God can't do nothing until we get in that place. Because God allow us to get in a place where we can't do anything else. 
because you think, you think your $15 an hour is going to fix your child's problem. And here it is, your $15 an hour, your $20 an hour, your $30,000 an hour, whatever you're making an hour. And you expecting, you expecting God to do something. But God, while you're doing it, I'm going to help along the way. God said, I want you to hold back because I'm trying to teach a lesson. I'm trying to teach them a lesson. I can't teach them a lesson because you keep. Somebody say delay. That's why you've been praying for your kids for 10 years, but they still messed up. Not because of God, because of. God, I want you to fix this thing, God. I, I want you to fix it, but it's delayed because of. Uh, uh, here it is. Here it is. There is a delay. He's in the crowd. He's moving. And it's so awesome when you're walking with God and there's a crowd following you. Don't it feel good when you're the most important person in the room? I mean, you walking around like you, 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 you King Tut. I'm walking with JC. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You start walking different. And you want everybody to know, I'm blessed and I'm knowing. If you're blessed and you know it, clap your hands. Twelve years. Twelve years, the blessing has been on your life because twelve years, God gave you a beautiful little girl. But that same twelve years, somebody been going through a heartache and a hell and high water. Somebody spending all their money on physicians trying to get their body healed. And you more focused on your daughter than what God just did in their life. talking about a delay. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's right. That's a song writer used to say. They say, man, he may not come when you want. It's always on time. We got to change our perspective and say, God, I want you to show up right now. But if you don't, if you don't do it, I know you can do it. I know you can. I know you can because sometimes you may be dealing with hell in your life right now. I'm talking to somebody. I'm not going to look at you, but I'm talking to somebody. Let me, let me have my eyes closed right here. Here we are. You may be going through hell right now. Your back is against the wall. You're about to give up. You're about to throw in the towel. And God said, this is the part of the process. You pray for patience and he's giving it to you. Look at somebody and say, be careful what you pray for. <laughs> You talking about God, I want you, I want to love people more. And he put the worst person in your life. <laughs> you asking for patience and he give you circumstances. <laughs> Somebody tweet that. <laughs> be careful what you're praying for. Talking about, I want to be a stronger Christian. Bless me with the anointing. I want to have the fire in Jesus' name. Glory. You want the anointing, but you don't want the process. Oh. But the anointing, that's the only way you get it. You got to be crushed. This oil didn't just get in this bottle. Oh, oh, some olives had to be crushed. In order to make the liquid, he had to crush the solid. Uh, is there anybody in this place to say, I'm willing to take a crush 
for my increase. I'm willing to take a crush for my blessings. I'm willing to take a crush. If you're going to crush me right now, God, I may not like the way it feels, but I still believe that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Give them glory. Delay. Delay. What you think is a delay? What you think is a delay can be the biggest blessing in your life. Because here it is, sister, some blessings don't feel good. See, here it is. We, we grew up in the 80s church and all this prosperity preaching, and we think if I'm not prospering, God is not with me. The devil is a lie. You better read your Bible and get to know it for yourself. See, God allow us to go through situations to bless us. The blessing is in the pain. I know you can't see it, but the blessing is in the plane. Don't get frustrated about being delayed because there's a blessing in delay. Here it is. Let me tell you how there's a blessing in the delay. God showed up. He made it seen. Because here it is. Jairus wasn't dealing with an ordinary situation. It wasn't that many people that was rose back from the crib. It's not that many stories like that in the Bible. Out of all the friends Jesus had, we know about Lazarus. Lazarus rising. Lazarus come out. You know, we watched that TV. Got the, got the grave clothes on is Jairus, a man that was a ruler of the synagogue. Here it is. How many people in the Bible that's rulers of synagogue that you know their name? So God had to allow something. He had to allow a delay to become a blessing. Oh, there's somebody that's dealing with delays in this place right now. But what God is doing, he's trying to give you a new. <laughs> see, the hell I've been through. See, I, I realize that, see, God allowed me to go through the hell because what he's trying to do in this season. I don't really want it, God. You can, I don't have to be famous. I don't have to be nothing. But even in spite of you not going to be famous, God is getting ready to bless your name. That's some folks in this place, people going to know about you. Pe Ten years from now, a hundred years from now, people are going to know your name. They're going to know the things that you have done in 2020. And look at somebody say, 2020 is about to happen. I See, God is building a legacy in, and it's going to be tied to your name. <laughs> oh, tied to the name. Tied to the name. Tied to the name. Somebody say tied to the. 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 Tied to the name. God is giving you a name. Ordinary situations result in ordinary measures. But extraordinary situations. <laughs> Is there anybody in this place to see this is my extraordinary season? God is about to do something extraordinary in my life. I've been through hell in my life. I've been complaining about it. I said I should have went through this. Why am I going through this, God? But your extraordinary situation is going to give you an extraordinary name. Here he is. 
now he get the message. First you hear some good news. And listen, the Bible say as he was speaking to her. Some people came speaking to Jairus and told him, hey, man, ain't no, don't trouble the teacher. Man, your daughter is. Somebody give me my second point. Give me my, my second point. Oh, Jairus, his life was defeated. Can you imagine what Jairus was dealing with at that moment of his life? You just seen Jesus bless somebody in a mighty way, and now here it is, your life has been defeated. And Jesus, I came and got you. I came and got Jesus, I had a conversation with you. I'm the one. I'm the one come running to you. I'm the one chasing after you. And all she did was touch you one time. And Now, 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 now what happened? I've been praying. I've been fasting. But now, now, now it, now what happened? Now the struggle. I thought it was bad. But now it's getting real bad. I, I thought it was painful, but now the pain is nearly intolerable. I can't even tolerate this pain. This is a different type of pain. I'm talking next level. Next level. I'm like, man, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. But here it is. What you thought you couldn't handle, you're still handling Have you ever had that situation in your life? You ain't know how you going to get out of it. You thought it was the end. Say, man, I can't make it past this. And then you wake up the next morning and you made it. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody in this place just want to praise God for making it? Say, yeah. I just praise you for making it. Because I should have lost my mind, but I made it. I, I should have died, but I made it. I shouldn't even be here right now, but I made it. You ask me how. I don't know, but I made it. I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still trusting. If you're standing, give them praises in this place and say no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper. Say yeah. Oh, it looks like it's over. It looks like it's over. The devil laughing at you. The devil talking about you been in church, but look at you now. You've been praying for people, but look at you. Isn't it funny how the devil get in our mind? And want us to stop what we're doing. Want us to stop what's been working? Yeah. It's like church is the only thing keeping me together, and you want me to. You want me to stop because it looks like a defeat? You want me to give up because it looks like a defeat? It looks like it's over to the eyes. It didn't happen. To the eyes because I done got bad news. Because here it is, Jairus, 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 Jairus. He, he, he didn't, he didn't see it. Somebody told him. See, the enemy want to distract you off what you He was defeated by what he heard. It haven't even happened yet. He didn't even know if it happened or not. Don't trouble the teacher. She already did. Don't trouble the teacher. Is already dead. Don't, don't keep praying. 
Because it already didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. You might as well stop right now. That's what the devil doing. You might as well stop right now. Don't even keep praying. Stop going to church because church not working. I mean, here you are, Jairus. You're walking with Jesus and it still didn't work. Still didn't work. I mean, hey, you, it's not like Jairus was away. He, he fallen by the wayside. He was walking. He was jaywalking. This brother jaywalking. He got bad news while jaywalking. I'm walking with you, and I still, I'm still defeated. Yeah. Well, somebody say reassurance. Ha, Jesus spoke to him. See, because it was somebody else speaking. See, you have to watch who you're listening to. Be careful who you're listening to. Because Jesus heard the news. Jesus said, hey, man. Hey, don't be afraid. Only believe your daughter will be made well. Forget what you heard. Forget what they told you. It will be made well. Forget that they told you you'll never be nothing. Forget that they told you that it's all over. Forget that they told you you're going to be just like your no good daddy. You're going to be on drugs just like your mammy. You know how they do it. They don't say mother and mama. They, oh, they, put, they, they, put, some, they put some disrespect on it. They put, I'm talking, they put the disrespect sauce on it. You don't just have the cake. I'm talking. Brother Jason, I'm talking the disrespect icing is put on it. Like, man, I'm trying to get this thing right. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to walk down the straight and narrow, and I got people putting disrespect for icing on my life. I mean, come on, man. I wasn't going to church at first, but now I'm in church and putting some disrespect for. Oh, but Jesus spoke up. Jesus spoke up. And Jesus said, this too shall pass. She will be okay. The just way I fixed this daughter. I'm going to fix your daughter. I'm going to give life back to your daughter. Life back to your seed. Hey. 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 Look at somebody and say, it's about to come back. It's coming back. It's about to come back. Oh, they told me it died, but it's about to come back. Jesus is bringing it right back. Look at somebody and say, it's turning around. It's turning Everything that was taken from me is about to get returned. Devil, you don't own it. You don't own my children. You don't own my finances. You don't own my health. You don't own my life. It's returning back 100, 200, 1,000 for. It's coming back. Somebody say it. It's coming back. It's coming back. High five three people and say you're getting it back. 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 I'm getting my mind back. I'm getting my spirit back. I'm getting my husband back. I'm getting my relationship back. I'm getting my children back. I'm getting everything back. I'm getting my ministry back. I'm getting my voice back. I'm getting my heart back. I'm taking back everything. If you believe it, scream at the devil and say, not today, devil. 
The devil didn't hear you. I want you to scream to him again and say, not today, devil. One more time in case the devil got the days messed up. And say, not today, devil. Yeah. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Today is my day. Today is a new day. What you did yesterday is not going to happen today. Because what I know, right now, Jesus spoke up and said, not today, devil. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. You better, you better get some authority and talk to that devil. You ain't even got to say nothing. See, the devil know what this means. I'm not even saying nothing. This season of my life, I'm not fussing no more. Let me give you something you understand. Because, devil, I want you to shut your mouth. I'm not even arguing back to you. I'm you had your hand on my marriage, but you better walk in some authority. You tried to destroy me on the job, but. Oh, I missed the last boat, and I got an attitude problem. But next time, I won't even say nothing. I'm going to keep my mouth closed. Why? Because, devil, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show example for what you should do. <laughs> you, better, you better silence your devil. You better silence your enemy. And say, enemy, you about to go silent right now. <laughs> here, here it is. He haven't even got home yet. And the bad news came where he at. Why in the world do bad news spread so quickly? Somebody get a promotion, nobody know about it. Ooh, but let them get fired. Somebody's child graduated from college, nobody know about it. Ooh, but let them go to jail. When they on the honor roll, nobody know about it. Nobody want to celebrate the honor roll with you. Oh, but let them get in trouble. Yeah. Ah, everybody calling everybody. Yeah. You know, you, I, told, I told you. Yeah. I knew they weren't going to make it. I, I knew they weren't. Somebody say, shut the devil up. Shut them 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 up. And why I'm telling you to shut the devil up, because that's what Jesus did. Jesus put it in check. Jesus stopped it right there. Say, hey. Chill out, bro. I, I don't care what you saw. What you saw ain't what happened. See, the enemy sees something different than what God sees. See, the only thing the enemy can see is your failures. The only thing the enemy can see is where you fall short. 
The only thing the enemy can see is your weaknesses. But God said he's focused on your strength. I got to move on. 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 Here, 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 here it is. It said, but when Jesus heard it, he answered him and said, do not be afraid. Only believe. Only. Only. I don't care what happened last year. I don't care what you didn't get last year. I don't care how jacked up the last marriage was. Only. I don't care how jacked up your last pastor was. Here, here it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't mean to, I, I, I didn't mean to talk about the clergies. Because, you know, you're not supposed to put your mouth on a man of God. Even if they don't operate as a man of God. Don't. So I got to call it what it is. I got to call it what? Because people are being defeated in the church because people are not calling it what it. If they jacked up, they jacked up and need to sit down somewhere. If I ever start doing shady stuff as a pastor, y'all sit me down. Do not fall for that mess that don't put your mouth down the man of God. If I'm not operating as a man of God, y'all sit me down. I'm saying it right now, and I mean it. Sit me down. Reverend Darrell, sit me down. Deke, where you at? Sit me down. I don't care how much you love me. Sit me down. Sit me down because you, you, if you allow me to stand, you're not doing anything but hurting me. I can't get the help I need. If I become a pastor, there's more about money than souls. You better check me. I give you permission right now. Check me. Check me. I'm preaching every day. I preach every Sunday. I preach hard because I want everybody to be saved. And I want you to go to heaven. And not only do I want you to go to heaven, I want you to live heaven on earth. And if that's what my heart wants for your life, do the same for me. If I get shady... Go, go, it's okay. Go to Reverend Dad. Be like, Reverend Dad, we got to do something. We got to do something. This dude tripping. He defeated. <laughs> defeated. Keep on talking, brother. Keep on. I'm, yeah, like anybody, he can talk. He can that brother engaged. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here. Here it is. When he came into the house. He permitted no one to go in except for Peter, James, John, and the parents. What God want to do in your life, you can't take everybody in the house with you.
Because people in the house don't understand what's about to happen in the house. And they want to distract you. Everybody can't get in the house. You stay at the door. Boom. I mean, you better build some boundaries. You better close in their face. I'm sorry, baby, but you can't get in here. You can't get in here. I can't let you in my heart this season. Foul folk, I got to leave you where you are. I'll come back and love you later. But right now, because I'm still struggling in my weakness, I can't deal with you right now. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get through because I, I know y'all ready to eat snack and chat. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to enjoy the meal from 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 Miss Tina? But I, 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 here, here. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to get through it. I'm trying to get through it. When he came. Into the house, he permission no one to go in except for Peter, James, and John. See, even all the disciples couldn't get in. Here it is. Woman had the issue of blood for how many years? The daughter was, and he had how many disciples? And all of them can't come in. Because that's a blessing in 12 and a curse in 12. And God said, you know what? I'm just going to minus. God said, I got to do some division. I got to do some division. He said, I, I use 12, but he said, I got to divide some stuff. I got to divide a fourth from it and only three come in with me. Huh? Look at somebody and say, you got to do some fractions in this season. I mean, I know you don't like math, but you got to do some fractions in this season. There's some things you just got to let go. You got to. You got to. Some things got to go. It got to go. I know you love them, but it got to go. It got to go. I love you, baby, but I can't be with you right now. Because God is doing something different in my life. Yeah. Now all wept and mourned for her. What you crying for? What are you mourning for? What are you weeping for? Man, you jaywalking. You walking with Jesus. Jaywalk. Be cool with it. Roll with it. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I am jaywalking. They all weeping. They all weeping and mourning for her. But he said, don't weep. She's not dead. She's only sleeping. I mean, I mean, sometime in your life you think like, man, okay, man, hey. I mean, I'm not crazy, Jesus, but it, it, it. <laughs> have you ever questioned God? You're like, man, I, I know you can, and I know you can do it. I know you did it before, but I don't know about this one. I mean, I mean, this marriage is is dead. It's, I mean, I'm getting the papers ready. I mean, this is this relationship is. Can't 
nobody help this thing. God, not even, and here, this is what we're really saying. God, not even you can help it. Oh, you got that pink slip. You know you ain't got the money. Your income tax ain't coming time enough. Because it was delayed because they found something in the paperwork and now they want to. They were weeping and crying. He's like, man, she's not dead. She's sleeping. And the Bible saying they ridiculed him knowing that she was dead. But here it is. This is what the scripture said. This is how I know that she did have an issue. I mean, that she wasn't responsive. Because in the scripture it says right here, it says, but he put them out all outside, took her by the hand, and called, saying, little girl, arise. And verse 55, and it says, then her spirit. Okay, Jesus. Jesus, what, 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 what are you saying? You say she's not dead, she's sleeping, but then it go further and it said the spirit. Mm, give me my last point, my last point. Huh. Denied. She was dead, but it was denied. Oh, yeah, it happened, but it was denied. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm talking about when you swapping that card and you know you ain't got you. You praying and you hoping that it don't reject it and it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Just like that credit card that didn't have nothing on it. Just like that credit card didn't have nothing on it. I mean, it wasn't nothing in there. It was done. I knew it wasn't nothing on there. I was just praying that the, that the credit card machine is messed up this time. <laughs> Here it is. The devil had the situation on credit. The devil knew he didn't have any money. He knew he didn't have no power. But he still swapped. See, the devil swapping in your marriage. Swapping in your health. Swapping in your finance. It's just swapping all over the house. This the devil. This a Why? Because I tried last year and it worked. <laughs> but now it's not working. Somebody shout the night. Devil, you tried to destroy me. But access. Devil, you tried to mess up my mind. But access. You tried to drive me crazy. But access. Devil, you are denied every access you had in my life. The power is denied. Everything you ever tried to do to me is denied. Somebody shout, denied. You tried to destroy my family, but it is. You tried to destroy my career, but it is. Stand to your feet all over the building. 
Grab your neighbor by the hand. Grab your neighbor by the hand. I want you to grab that hand. I want you to grab that hand. I want you to hold that hand tight. I want you to grab that hand where they feel that it's 